Dobrý den. Dobrý den. Niño. 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 Dobrý den. Dobrý den. Dobrý den. Hola. Dobrý den. 23-year-old Tania has lived and studied in Fredericton for more than six years, and only now she calls Canada home. Her claim as a refugee was accepted by the Canadian government. She says she's thankful to be a Canadian citizen. My main purpose to come here, I guess, was to you know move forward and get better education in my country, which is El Salvador. Um, we had a lot of gang member activity down there, so it wasn't very safe. She came to Fredericton armed with determination and a positive attitude. She says Fredericton is the right place to raise a family. It's clean, safe, and very welcoming to new Canadians. But it's not the place to find money. For me, I, I was planning to work in translation, and I wanted to do English and Spanish, and there's no way I can do that here, because it's, you know, it's, there's no, it's an English and French uh, city, and, and it's very hard to find something like that. This leaves her with little choice. She now thinks leaving is better for her family. She says with all the advantages the city has to provide, life can sometimes be hard in Fredericton. Chisa Itu is an exchange student from Japan. She hardly knew any English and she left her family and friends behind for Canada. She says Canada provides a better life and education. She learned about various cities in Canada, but Fredericton was her first choice. To come a city, there is not many Asian people. But for her, the option of staying in Fredericton after graduation no longer exists. My move to other cities, bigger cities, because I love here. I love being here in Fredericton. But there, um, I think it's kind of hard to um, be accepted by Canadians because there is not many Japanese people here, not many Asian people, and we are kind of isolated. So it's kind of hard to find the place in here in such a small place so and i think if i go to another big cities there would be more there will be more um ch opportunities to um communicate with people here I am at the market in downtown Fredericton. The market brings out many shoppers each week. They say it's the best place to find not only unique gifts, fresh vegetables and fruit, but to also meet people from all over the world. Uh, I think if uh, like Fredericton and other cities, they develop uh, better support services for immigrants and, and uh, people from different nationalities coming in, uh, language training, uh, training sessions upgrade I like my cultural food in town. Well, 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 from where do you come from? Jamaica, but I'm also from Toronto also. And in Toronto we get everything, so here I'd like to have everything here too. And I'll stay. Started to uh, bring the voice, you know, of diversity in the city. Lillian Kalaba is a settlement coordinator at the Multicultural Association in Fredericton. She says prospective immigrants need to know the quality of life Fredericton has to offer. Fredericton is a family-oriented city. Uh, it's quiet. Um, if you are uh, maybe a single young person, you would rather go somewhere where it's a bigger city where you can find more entertainment or, I don't know, look for other stuff. But if you are a family-oriented person and you have young children, uh, Fredericton is a really nice place to be. It's a low cost for housing still, you know, it's still cheaper to buy a house in Fredericton than it would be in Toronto or Montreal or some of the bigger cities. So, you know, people who prefer that kind of quiet life rather choose to stay here. She says forcing immigrants to stay in Fredericton is not an option. Uh, can't push people into things that they're not comfortable with. So you have to build it slowly. Wow. 
I never would have believed in 1990 that in 2000 I'd be looking out at a crowd in Fredericton that looks like this, and, which I think is just a spectacularly good thing. Andy Scott is a former member of parliament and a sociology professor at the University of New Brunswick. He says New Brunswick was shrinking, but it has improved since the 1990s. First time ever they've established um, the population growth strategy, they've increased the budget quite dramatically in terms of the money that they're putting to, to the task of, um, of uh, coming up with strategies uh, and uh, personnel that would uh, have the effect of making the province more attractive to new Canadians. Finding jobs in Fredericton is one problem, but finding a well-paid job is another. Scott says the economic crisis drives many immigrants away from New Brunswick. The unemployment rate in New Brunswick is higher than the un unemployment rate in Montreal and higher than the unemployment rate in Toronto. Whether immigrants choose to live here in Fredericton or in Toronto, Canada will always be a desirable destination for them. New Brunswick, Newfoundland and Prince Edward Island already cooperate when it comes to attracting foreign students to Atlantic universities. International students are now encouraged to live and stay in the region after their graduation only when obtaining an off-campus post-graduation work permit that would allow them to stay and work in Canada for up to two years. Reporting from Fredericton, for Stu Journalism, this is Ayat Abiris Eid.